Hello, this is Rob Walker from Walker, Texas Peppers, and I was wanting to make a quick video, say hi, and thank everybody that subscribed to our channel, and we're just getting started, and changing the format for from a very unsuccessful gaming channel to hopefully a good pepper channel that many would want to see or grow in progress. Today is a first freeze warning for Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, so I'm going to have to do a bunch of green pepper picking, and uh, we're going to seal this up with plastic, this pergola, make it like a little mini greenhouse, because this is where our bell peppers, banana peppers, and stuff, I got radishes right there, uh, there's the chickens, excuse the mess, but yeah, this hedge here is a habanero hedge. That's saw my orange habaneros. This thing was six foot tall before the windstorm come. And uh, the windstorm come and blew it all over here to this one end. It's all, and I mean it's covered, covered in green peppers. I've been trying to get all the, the ripe ones Hoping they'd start turning, but unfortunately, and today's another windy day with about 30 mile an hour gusts. Uh, 60 something degrees right now. Freeze warning, first freeze warning tonight. Scotch bonnets, man, we had never grew these before, and I was hoping they would ripen. And this is a ghost pepper that kind of all sprawled out. Buchalokia ghost. Here's an extension when we got a hot house, greenhouse. A hoop house, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my brother built built it, and he's extended it over with this little garden where we got our peppers inside here too. Okay, I'm already at two and a half minutes. I just want to make it real fast. Yeah, he put the plastic in. We're still going to cover cover more. I better walk faster. Bear with me. I'm disabled. I got a bad leg, so I'm trying to get around. Here's some ghost peppers. Oh, the wind, man. This is crazy. I love the ghost peppers, man. I love the sauces I make with the ghosts. Well, the front has come in, man. You can see it's blown all this. We gotta cover, try to cover this up. We had probably about 25 different varieties, maybe 20. I'm always bad with numbers because I get so excited uh, about the peppers. Open this up. These are pineapples. Uh, yeah, these are kind of looking real sad right at the moment. Mariachis, Tabasco over there, big Tabasco, these big old giant bell. Hmm. Forget what these are called. Mama bells, big mama bells or something. I don't know. Try to capture some of this. This needs to be watered in here, I guess. Put this. Spacing was an issue this year. Serranos. Uh, we got little jalapeno bushes. They were late bloomers. These were all trapped underneath cherry tomatoes. It went crazy like vines. I don't know if it's capturing it. 
I'm not the greatest cameraman, and I'm, I don't have a selfie stick yet or anything. I'll try to get better at doing this. I'm new to this too, new to it all. But uh, I just want to say thank you. Keep watching. We're gonna we're gonna do 50 varieties next season. Um, four, hopefully four plants of each variety expanding to grow we got we moved the stuff into the greenhouse the hoop house whatever you hot house whatever you want to call it well it's kind of messy in here it's a work in progress but there's the original our, our reaper just transplanted him in here so we can go over winter all of them we'll, See how they'll do here in the greenhouse and, and grow lights and that we'll get all that going here in a little bit. We just got the heating pads and all that. But uh hell I've already went over a minute longer than what I wanted to. I just wanna say is a new channel, new format and broccoli. Uh really, really love this year this season and beta season of trying to grow peppers and uh, fell in love with these orange habaneros and ghost peppers and reapers and making stuff we called it the trifecta those are the three main peppers uh, super hot and stuff we grew this season and we really loved it and I'm telling you they were six foot or six foot tall until the windstorm just blew them it was like 60 mile an hour gusts on a 30 mile an hour steady wind day turn that hedge into a mess and now I gotta go through here and get all these green peppers before it freezes tonight uh, now what's bad is the rest of the season I mean the rest of the week is gonna be warm there's no, excuse me no other cold days no other cold days. Then they call the master of puppets room. He tied a lot of these crazy long, tall bell peppers and banana peppers. And they got long and he tied them up with wind trying to prevent the, tied them up, prevent the wind from getting them, but it tore it up. The wind was just, they are like vines, they were going everywhere. Man, I was just really, I never had a scotch bonnet and this plant is just doing so well. I hope you can see that. I hate to pick these peppers when they're not ripe. But forced to do what you gotta do, man. I don't know if y'all can see that through the plastic, but yeah. Really enjoyed this. We calling it the beta season, and our first first go at it. Really strongly pepper pepper focused. Next season is going to be five gallon buckets everywhere and more planted in the ground. We use compost. Um, potting soil. You know the hell. Here's a habanero soil. Winds blowing so crazy. Uh, so I say, I'm gonna have more videos coming, coming soon. I'll just show you where we get when we start when we start planting the seeds, start germinating, getting ready for season. We're just right now we're getting seeds and figuring out where we're gonna plant them. Planning out to grow. And this channel will be basically me just sharing our experience, turning a little pepper patch into a, a bigger grow. And I'll be making sauces and reviewing all these different peppers I've never tried before. So bear with me. I'm a noob. We all start as noobs. I remember that. Uh, God, man, I got a lot of work to do. <sighs> I 
one day. One day a freeze warning, the rest is going to be warm. I was hoping this Indian summer was going to extend. It really was. Uh, yeah. But, hopefully y'all want to want to watch me try these new peppers and see the progress of uh, a pepper patch going into a grow and we'll try to turn it into a, a full pepper company and sell our sauces. I've already been making sauces all year and a lot of people loved them and got rave reviews. All the people that's tested them, I've sent them all across the country, friends. Friends, family, neighbors, man, you know. I make peppers, jellies, and just got a dehydrator, so I'll be making powders and stuff too, so. But, thanks for watching. This is going to be a quick video saying hi. And, uh, yeah, my season's more likely over. We'll cover what we can and move what we can in the greenhouse, but I'm worried and I can only do what I can do. And all these green peppers, man. Uh, yep. <laughs> the end of the season might be here. And I wanna say just stay tuned, next season, We'll start small videos here and there, and uh, I'll try my best to get better at this. I'm, not, I'm new to this. I don't have any equipment except my, my arm holding this damn phone. I'll get a selfie stick or whatever if, it, if the channel takes off and the community embraces uh, wanting to see the Walker Texas Pepper Patch grow. <laughs> but anyways... I've already run way over. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Next video, I'll try to eat a damn pepper. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>